Now, how do you solve equations uh, with unknowns or variables on both sides? So let me take an example. If you have an equation like this, say 5x is equal to say 3x uh, plus 7. So well, you've got two sides and you've got five lots of x is equal to 3x plus 7. So when you have an equation like this, it is very difficult at times to think of a number which goes to x and so that the, both the sides are equal. So basically when you're looking at an equation, you always need to remember that equation is two sides of a balance or a seesaw. So whatever you do on one side has to be done on the other side. So I'll, I'll explain this in two different ways. So this 5x can be written as 3 lots of x plus 2 lots of x is equal to 3x plus 7. So here, this 5x I have written as 3x plus 2x. So you got 3x on this side and you got 3x on this side. So if you are, uh, if you take away something from one side, you can take away that same thing from the other side. So I can say you got 3x on this side and so you can cancel the 3x like this. So what is that you can see? So you got 2 times x is equal to 7. So well now to just divide both sides by 2. So if I divide this side by 2, you divide this side by 2. So x, 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So x is 7 divided by 2. 7 divided by 2, or that's half of 7, which is 3.5. Okay, so let me take one more example. So what if you have 2m is equal to 4m plus, uh, say, 10? Well, I'll do this in a different way. So I can say, well, I want to bring the m's on one side and the numbers on the other side. So let me do the same thing like this. So can I say this is 2m is equal to this 4m. I can say, well, that is 2m plus 2m plus 10. Okay, so this 2m, which is on this side, and this 2m gets cancelled. So what is on this side? Well, you got nothing on this side. So how would you write nothing in maths? Well, you'd write 0. So 0 is 2m plus 10. Now, 2m plus 10 is 0. means something plus 10 is 0. So well, I can say 2m has to be negative 10. Because negative 10 plus 10 is 0. So now I can divide both sides by 2 because we want to cancel this 2, so m is negative 5. Okay, so this is how you solve equations of unknown on both sides. So let me do one more. Okay, so how do we do? Suppose the question is like this. You've got p plus 4 is equal to, say, 13 or 12 minus, say, 3p. So I'm going to do this in a different way. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to bring the x's or the unknowns on one side. So the opposite of minus 3p is plus 3p. So I'm adding 3p to this side. So if you add 3p to this side, I have to add 3p to this side. So this is called, uh, this method step can be explained as bringing the p's or the unknowns on one side and the numbers on the other side. I, the opposite of plus 4 is minus 4. So I'm going to take away 4 from this side. So I have to take away 4 from this side. So you've got two sides. So this is my, minus 3p plus 3p gets cancelled. Plus 4 and minus 4 gets cancelled. So now this is 1p or 1 lot of p plus 4 lot of 3 lots of p which is 4 lots of p. And this is 12 take away 4 is 8. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So P and P gets cancelled. So P is equal to 2.
and now you can put the answer back in this equation and check so let's check it so if you go 2 plus 4 is same as 12 minus 3 times 2 does it make sense well this is 6 is equal to 12 minus 6 is 6